Hello, everybody. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Over there is uh, my wonderful co-host and graphic design guy, John Lewandowski. How are you doing, John? Hey, pretty good. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful people at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. All right, so we got two shows for you guys today. They're not in the same video, so keep an eye out. We got two videos coming with tonight's double. We are no longer doing dual shows. Um, where we combine them as we upload to YouTube now. Um, it is we are no longer going to be doing those. So if if you see us doing dual shows, it's because we're probably live on YouTube. Um, that's going to be our our new live spot. So just a fair warning to you guys. Um, paying attention, please go over to our YouTube page and sub. Um, we will be live on Facebook for In the System. That is the only video we will be doing live over there. So thank you for that. Um, uh, also, um, uh, so today the Preds finish up their global series. Over in Prague and yep. kick start off our uh, season in uh, in a wonderful fashion, I guess I could say. <laughs> John, take it away. All right. So the Sharks outshot the Predators 33 to 18 in the face off circle. The Sharks won that 51% to 49%. I'd Talk say even. What was that? I'd say it's even. Yeah, I'd say it's about even. Um, power play, Sharks were 1 for 4, Predators 0 for 3. 8 penalty minutes for the Predators, 6 for the Sharks. The Predators definitely out-hit the Sharks today, 33-23. to 23. Um, Out-blocking them, 23-16 to 16 was the Predators. And the Sharks had 9 given it ways while the Predators had 8. Um, I would like to see those giveaways cleaned up a little bit, but with right. the year and the back to back, um, I, I I'm not complaining. Right. Um, scoring in the first period was former Predator Luke Coonan with an assist from Oscar Lindbaum, uh, his first of the year, and uh, Ferraro, his first of the year, that was scored on the power play. Only goal in that period. Second period was the eventful one, obviously. Yeah. There was nothing in the third. Just so that you guys are aware. That's why I'm doing all the scoring in goaltending year, because not a whole lot in this one. Right. But Nino Niederreiter with his second of the season with a, with a goal uh, assist from Johansson and Yossi. Yossi's first point of the year. Um, That was at the 435 mark, even strength. Literally about 10 seconds later, Logan Couture scores with a goal scored from Steven Lorenz and Ferraro in second. Then Forsberg gets on the score sheet with his second point of the season with an assist from Matt Duchesne, his second point of the season, with another assist from Gradlin. Gradlin just doing Gradlin-like things. Um, that was scored at the 16-29 mark, and then Nino Niederreiter becomes the AA, or AHL, NHL goal leader at the current moment with his third of the, third of the season with an assist from Illy Tolvanen and Ryan McDonough, by the way, the people that were on the ice when that was scored was a hodgepodge of lines. There were three different lines on that on the ice when that happened. Right. Um, you had Sissons, Tolvanen, and Nito Niederreiter. And you had McDonough, and I think it was Lazan. No, it was McDonough and... Uh, who was it? McDonough? I don't remember either. Could be Eckholm. Anyway, good showing by the Preds. Kevin Lincoln in net. Stop at 31 of 33 with a .939 save percentage. In net for the Sharks was Capo Kakinen. We are no stranger to Capo Kakinen as he played many years with the uh, the Iowa Wild. 
Um, stopped 15 of 18 with a .833 save percentage. He is much better than that, but the team in front of him does not reflect in that. Matt Benning, just to be on a former Fred watch here, Matt Benning was a minus two with no statistical other than a two penalty minutes and a takeaway. Um, Nick Benito was a minus one, and Luke Coonan was a minus two plus. He had a goal, so he would have been a minus three had he not scored that goal. Head coach for Nashville's John Hines, head coach for San Jose is David Quinn. Uh, your referees were Francis Sharon and Justin St. Pierre. Linesman was Derek Nansen and Ryan Galloway. Um, before we finish up this, all right, so we're going to have to go through this because we do. Let's just be honest here. All right, so we know Kevin Gravel and Roland McEwen and, and Jimmy Hutchington are all here. Right. All right, so Zach Sanford, Mark Jankowski, Philip Tomasino, Connor Ingram, Jordan Gross, Michael McCarron, Mark Morveski. Morrow's not getting cut. Sanford's not getting cut. I don't see McCarron not making the team. Yeah. Question is... Um, how how do we go uh, about this? Because, I mean, I could see Tomasino coming. Like, okay, now, Preds fans, I want you to hear this. I think we pushed Tomasino a little too soon here. So, to back off the pedal, send him down, get him some, you know, proper development, re make him restructure, and if he causes a problem down here, then offload him. It's not something that you much want to do with a first round pick early on in their career, but you want to get something while well, they're worth something. Right. And he still definitely has upside. I just don't think that I know that this system is it for him. Right. So it's a question of if he comes down here, picks up what we're doing here. I think we should have done that in the beginning, but I argued that last season. I'm arguing it now. Jordan Gross, AHL, Connor Ingram, Either he's going to get claimed on waivers or he'll be in Milwaukee. Um, Gross, I could turn Gross. He'll be he'll be down here. I, I just don't see them wanting to carry two defensemen and one forward. I could see them wanting to carry one defenseman and two forwards. All right. No. Because if you lose more than one defenseman, you're able to call up for injury purposes. So right. for that, that's that's the sake of it. So the real question is, like, when you make your cuts, you got to make your cuts. You know, uh, uh, all of uh, our teams do. We got to make our cuts. Yeah. You know, and I mean, I I I don't feel I feel bad for San Jose too because they got to figure out Scott Harrington, Thomas Bordalo. Marcus Nudevara, uh, William Eklund, Noah Gregoire, Aaron Dell, and Alexander Bar Barbanov. So, I mean, they've got some question marks over there. Uh, the only player that's waiver exempt is Philip Tomasino. So that's one of the many reasons I'm saying that he could come down because less risk of losing a player. Right. Jankowski, he'll be sent down. I can see him clearing waivers. I don't see many guys right now that, I don't see Craig Smith coming back after the way he played the last two games. Um, one shot on goal, two hits, one block, two takeaways, 11 minutes ice time, two seconds on the power play. And he played three minutes shorthanded. So, I mean, to take that into consideration, you know, him with Glass and Tolvin, uh, I, I wouldn't change this roster one bit right now. No, I wouldn't either. I would not do it. And Lankinen looks like he's set to be a steady backup. So, I mean, we got what we wanted. And and this is where it comes down to, you know, the tough choices. And guys just got to go like this. Hold your head up. Plow through it. The chances will come if you put the work in. Um, it's a known fact. Uh, I normally don't like saying that about this, but you just got to pick your head up and 
And it's, I'm still only a step away. I made it all the way to, to this bar. So now they're cutting me. So I, you, eyes are on me. So, you know, when I'm down there, eyes are on me, what I'm doing, how I'm doing. You know, and and that's that's really good because, I mean, Kiefer Sherwood earned his time. He earned his spot. Anybody that says he didn't, he did. He did have three giveaways today. So he, account, he accounted for three of the eight. Um, Yossi had one. Duchesne had one. Jano had one. And Sissons had one. But he also had one takeaway. So he could cut one out of those out. So he only had two, which isn't that bad, really. Right. Um, and also remember, he's still young, still playing with a little bit of jitters. So we'll see where we go with that as well. Um, on another note, like I said, any transactions, uh, we will be posting graphics as soon as we can. I also apologize for my phone notifications going off. I forgot to put it on silent. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, PlayStation. <laughs> But uh, that's all I got. I mean, John, what do you think of this, like, the first ga two games we've seen so far? I mean, I know it's not much to go off of because we haven't really got to watch, which kind right. of, you know, for whatever the reason is, we have been unable to watch. Um, We're going to figure it out eventually. But, you know, um, we're hoping to watch the game on the 12th, 14th, and the 15th and being here all season. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been our coverage of the San Jose Sharks versus the National Predators as the Sharks were the home team. Um, thank you. Have a wonderful weekend.